Good day guys, Bing here. And so previously we did some uh, structure and also some uh, uh, seed for this project. And today we're going to create some um, external uh, facade or uh, cladding. So it will look like this. Okay, so let's start. So first, if we go to ground floor, so previously we used some a detailed line for the the location of the structure and also for to create a sweep. So today uh, we're still going to use uh, this um, path. Okay, so and also we will need to create a profile which need to be draw in the section view so so um okay so first what i'm going to do is let's change it to start so we which we will be able to see the the edge of this structure so what i'm going to do is um let me just hide this seat okay hh -h. And it looks like uh, we don't have detail line, all those detail lines in here. That's fine. We can go to front gro uh, ground floor. I'll, I'm just going to select these four detail line. So they are detail line, and I'm just going to copy Control C, go to side plan, and then modify and pay along to the same place. So we have these detail line in this uh, side side plan. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just I'll offset these to the edge of the structure. So later we can create that. So use that path. And so what we can do is I'll just do a dimension. So I just need to figure out how um, much um, I need to offset them. So let's do a dimension. So this is the number. So okay. Maybe I'll just do it. Uh, I'll just two seven seven. Maybe I'll make it two seven eight. Okay, two seven eight. So O F. Just type O F, which is offset, and type in two seven eight zero. Oh, yeah, my two seven eight zero zero, and tab click. Okay, so now we have these four uh, detail lines, detail lines to match the edge of the structure. But because they are detail lines, you won't be able to see them in 3D view. So what uh, we're going to do is select them, and also uh, just check, just just have a look of this associated level of this uh, view. So this side plan is ground floor. So which means if we select this detail line and click on convert lines these four lines will become model line in that level in ground floor so if i go to 3d view now so you will see them they are model lines now and of course if you if you convert line again they will become detail line again and they, they will disappear in the 3d view so Okay, so um, we're going to need this because uh, I'm going to create a mess, and I'll just use a pick pick. Uh, I'll pick the path using these uh, detail lines. Okay, oh sorry, model lines, and then we need to create some profile. So go to um, section two, which is I'll go to side plan first. So this is actually section two. I'll just change the scale a little bit. So yeah. So this is section two. Um, the name. So view name section two. So if I go to section two, and we need to create some uh, profile here. But currently, so if I do some uh, model line, so. See, you can't do it here, and the rivet will ask you to pick some reference line. And so, what we need to do is we need to create some uh, 
work plan for the reference uh, for the those uh, data uh, model lines. So you can use reference plan or you can use grid as well. Okay, here I'm uh, using a reference reference plan and also I'll just name it. I'll call it A. Okay, so now if I go to section two and once again if I create model line and Revit asks me, so I'll just choose uh, reference plan A. Okay, so so which means we can draw some model line in this view. So now let's do it. So I'll start from this is a profile of um, because previously we create that path to match this edge. So I'm going to just start from this point. So I'll roughly um, I'll just roughly do some curve shape. Okay, so something like this, maybe a different sort, and also stop at ground floor. Okay, so now if I go to 3D view, because they are model lines, you will be able to see them. Okay, so if you if if you choose some detail line, you can you can convert them into model lines. So now we have the path here, path, and then we have this profile. And also, um, it's not enough to have only have these four lines. I'll show you why. So if you create a, a model in place mass, and if you try to, uh, so first I'm going to pick these uh, path. So before I pick path, you need to set the work plan to um, to. Let me let me. Let me see if I can use maybe maybe we can use 3D snapping. So I'll use uh, place on draw on face and I use 3D snapping and see if I can pick. It yeah, looks like we can pick. Okay, so that's okay. We can pick this line. So tab click and also let's see if we can. Uh, no, nope, looks like we can't pick this. We can't pick this. Let's try. Ah, we can't. So which means we need to set the work plan. Okay. So set work plan and use this reference plan A. So now we can pick these four. So tab, pick. Okay. So now we have full reference line for the path and a full reference line for the profile. But I'll show you. So if if you create a form. No, Revit um, doesn't understand you. So, so what we need to do is we need to create a closed loop. So instead of these four, so what I'm going to do is use offset OF, and maybe I'll type in a very thin number, so 50 maybe. Okay, and use tab. Uh, oh, hang on. you need to click here once, and tab click so now we have um, two set of reference plan oh sorry reference line we just need to close it so reference line maybe i'll just uncheck the 3d snapping so click here let's see okay now oh, looks like i have sketchy lines here do i have sketch line maybe i'll just turn it off okay so yep that's better. <clears throat> so the same. I'll just pick this one and pick this one. And okay. So now this is a closed profile, and also select this path, create form. So now this time we will understand us and create this mess for us. And also, uh, oh, actually I forgot the top. Let's control Z. Let's go back and let's just create the top. So I'm going to just start. Maybe I'll delete tab, delete this line, and I'll start from here and do a horizontal line. Uh, maybe just let's go to the front so it's easier. Um, looks like we need to, oh, sorry, we need to go up maybe a little bit 
hang on, the, uh, so sometimes when you say you can't pick the you know vertical, the angle is quite uh, in, uh, funny. So this way, so it looks like we need to set the work plan. Okay, so it's not associated. So just set work plan and pick the reference plan A. Okay, so now let's once again reference line. So this time it should be see 90 degree. Okay, so now we can just go up uh, here, maybe a, a little bit more, and just cover the structure. Oh, looks like uh, it's a little bit hard to find that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's. I'll just place it here, and I'll just rotate it a little bit, and maybe drag it back uh, roughly here okay so um and then another reference line maybe just i'll actually i'm going to just pick line i'll pick the top of this structure which is create a reference line here so now i know that this stop here so i'll just pick another one oh hang on and then trim oh sorry sorry <laughs> wrong one i think i pick with 3d snapping or something like that so um draw on face oh, i think so yeah just draw on word plan okay so and then pick again uh, what's my oh hang on it, it's it's not associated again just need to set back to uh, reference plan A and pick the edge of this so it will create this reference line onto this reference plan which will match this okay so it's very important so you when you trying to create some profile they must um, be placed on uh, the same pro uh, reference plan okay so so now and let's check this one. Maybe just need to create another one. So I'll maybe copy this and trim it and trim it. So now we have a close loop and select all these reference line and also this create form. So now we have side around the stadium and also the top the roof okay so um, I think that's pretty much it so to the, um, maybe just hang on let me just uh, do a little bit more okay so so we can so if you think we can just have some patterns some panels so you can select all these face and use divided surface so for example i'll just have maybe two for each you know panel and then you can also use distance so for example i want to be uh, two meters wide okay something like that maybe maybe more <laughs> four meter maybe okay and also if you want to um, add some framings so you can just go create a, a pattern based family so uh, I've done quite a few uh, videos about that so I'm not going to do it here so you can just have a search and you will find it so okay so I think that's that's it so today we just did a little exercise about Messing so we use detail line, model line, and then reference line to create this mess. Okay, so if you have any question, please let me know. Uh, if you have any ideas, suggestion, or if you, if you want to model something and uh, don't know how, just let me know. Okay, so thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.